we're on our way to see Spider-Man Homecoming. Uh, we watched Amazing Spider-Man 2 last night. Uh, you know what? That was not my fave. But you know what? It's relevant because it was the last Spider-Man movie to come out. <laughs> Nobody asked you. Yeah, it's not very good. Amazing Spider-Man 2. I think everybody Emma Stone's good, yeah. Do you didn't think Emma Stone did a good job as Gwen? Yeah, she's, actually, she's yeah. Bright, like the brightest part of the yeah, movie. Yeah, actually, she did. She did bring a sparkle to the movie. Like, if you were to complain about the movie, would it be Emma, St would Emma Stone be the first thing to come to you? Nah. Would she be the last thing to come to you? Nah. No, there's too many other things ahead of that. Mm. Andrew Garfield cried way too much. You like Spider-Man as much as Wolverine? Yeah, I saw the Logan. Yeah, I saw the Logan video, right? You know how much she likes Wolverine. Um, I'm gonna have to say a no on that. You don't like Spider-Man? Uh, I, I like Spider-Man, but if it was a choice between Spider-Man and Logan, Or you don't want on video. <laughs> yeah, okay. Maybe another day we can talk about Miranda's order of superheroes. Yeah, it's not today. We can talk about my order. Oh gosh, that was all. But we'll do that when we when we go see Black Panther. Oh, that's great. I have a lot to say when we go see Black oh, Panther. Goodness. Really? Gosh. I just edit that stuff out. No, that is not nothing. You love it. Okay. We got problems with this one today. Because she likes Spider-Man. Yeah, now that one might be different. But Spider-Man, I think, is her favorite one. And she's been so excited about Spider-Man today that she has not taken her nap. Mm -mm. I'm glad you went to bed last night. At least, at least you did that for me. Sorry we don't have a Spider-Man shirt for you, but MCU... Ooh. Captain America, at least according to the trailers, has a small TNT kind of cameo in this. Which I'm kind of curious about how that, uh, is this one of those situations where, because I assume Cap is considered a criminal at this point. That is, yes, he considered he is. a criminal like nationwide at this uh, point. I don't know. Is he so widely respected, even though he's on the run from the law? Or is it a situation where uh, we just have really old videos at, uh, at school though, and, and, and we don't we don't update the the PSA videos that we show the students, and that's why Cap is in one of them. Look like he in one of his old costumes too. The bad one. There's a couple of Cap costumes. I'm not I'm not especially fond of. Man, we got here fast. This new Spider-Man's a little young for you anyway, isn't he? Yeah, he's a kid, so let's just say I'm not getting any ooh uh from him. He's a kid. He's like 21. <laughs> he's just playing a teenager in the movie. Yeah. Well, that's the problem. He's playing a teenager playing in the movie. Teenager. But I mean, I can make that distinction with Zendaya. Zendaya's like is like 21, 20, 21. He, she's he's fine a teenager as, in the movie. She's fine. She's playing he's a teenager. He's playing Spider-Man, a teenager in the movie. You can't make that. You can't make that partition in your head, that distinction. He's Where is not. Wolverine at? Is he anywhere in the movie? Mm, baby, that's, that's Fox. Oh, darn it. Hugh Jackman said that there's only one way he would return to playing Wolverine. And that's if um, MCU got him. He considered going back. Would that be cool to see Wolverine, Logan, in with the Avengers? You gotta show them the LSE the eyes. Let's see the eyes. Because no, no. I know it was back there. No. I know it was back no. there. No. no. Come on, I don't get no sunglasses. Jojo rides the side. Put, say what you want. I look fabulous. Let's go. Look, let's go. We going, we going. We got, we got reserved seating, so we okay. 
been treating me like a kid all the time. But you are a kid. This is my chance to prove myself. Peter, what is going on with you? I'm really sorry. I'm so busy. I'm slammed. Don't mess with me. Because I will kill you and everybody you love. Spider-Man, Spider-Man, does whatever a spider can, jump on walls that don't know the words. I probably should have learned it before I started this review. Look out! So, uh, yeah, that was the best Spider-Man movie. They finally got it right. They finally got it right. The guy that was selling the weapons, what was it? The main bad guy? Okay, well they never said his name in the film. So there's no reason you would know it. He's the vulture. Is that going to be a future unique character? I don't know, but I'm guessing we'll see Michael Keaton in more than one movie. So spoiler-free stuff. Uh, you didn't. There's this whole thing about oh the trailers gave away too much. No, no they didn't. Most of that stuff that you saw in the trailer, that's like I'd say. I heard somebody say that it was off in the first act. It's more like it's from the first half of the movie. Uh, but there's way more stuff going on in this film than what you saw in the trailer. Believe it or not, that was just a taste of, of the first part of the film. There's a lot more to it than that. Uh, Tom Holland Tom, Tom Holland's a good Spider-Man. Zendaya doesn't have as big a part in this movie as you might think. But it's really good. I really like the way they did her character. I like the way she uh, executed her character. I don't think we can really talk about this movie without doing spoilers, can we? It's kind of hard. Okay, so if we're just going to say this, yeah, go see it. Uh, you won't be disappointed unless you're just a terrible person. And now on to spoilers. We missed the first few uh, seconds of the movie, so I don't know if there's something in there that happened prior to Peter's um, um, web video, uh, his uh, cell phone video that he took of uh, being recruited by Stark the very first time, where he meets Happy Hogan and all that. Spoiler alert, I went to the wrong theater. Well, I did like um, MJ a lot. I like her free spiritness, uh, her not to go with the norm type personality. She was cool and smart. Peter's costume is awesome. That's Jennifer Connelly doing the the voice of his AI. That suit was awesome. Him taking taking all the uh, I don't want to say firewalls. I don't know what you're trying to take. Well, basically, he took off the train. He, he basically he basically he unlocked he, it. He, what, when someone roots a bone or something. Yeah, he rooted it. He rooted the <laughs> yeah he rooted the whole system. Um, yeah, I just love kids, but he's still a kid. Okay. Um, <laughs> We established this earlier. He's still like it. He's still yeah. like it. He's like, I think he was like 20 when he did the movie. Listen, yeah. when they said 14, I was like, mm. so he's still a kid. Anywho, I could kind of see it though. When he said, I'm 15, I was looking at him like, you're not 15. But, we're good. but, I'll, but I'll, I'll let you, I'll let you, I'll let you have it because we've been through this teenagers and movies thing before. So uh, that was really impressive. Um, that his friend is also kind of high tech too. I like it yeah. Um, but yeah, when he rooted it and got all those features. Remember that, folks. Anywho, a back. Like, I'm just like, okay, that's what you 
call the whistles and the bells is I mean it, I guess to me I'm just like okay if he uses all these features ain't that kind of inhibiting who he is in his special powers I but that's that was, just yeah. that's just the thing that bothered me I think that was the point I think the whole point was that uh, it did way it did way more than he needed it to do mm-hmm. way mm-hmm. more than he needed it to do I mean, all the different spider... That's, that's why he told her to hold back. No, don't go in this instant kill mode. Did you see the eyes? Yeah, I'm just like, so the suit kills? I'm just, it was just instant like, wow. <laughs> it has an instant kill mode. Oh, the uh, interrogation mode was priceless. <laughs> the voice completely changed. I was like, really? You gotta take somebody... Not a girl, oh, a Kind of remind me of Batman. Man, man. Who was that in Batman that talked crazy? Um... Christian Bale? Yes! I, I, I had a flashback, you know, one of those things. I had a flashback oh and all, that's what I heard. That's his voice I heard for a minute there. Oh, it would still be. It would have been. Batman, uh, uh, the, Bat, the Nolan trilogy would have been a thousand times better if that had been the Batman voice. But that was. That was not the Batman one. That was the Batman one. <laughs> you just had to go there. That was the Batman voice. His voice was way better than Batman. I mean, yeah, you could understand them, actually. That's true. You could understand them. Um, But, yeah, I was just like, that's just just too much. But at the same time, I think it brought some... um, Because he would talk constantly while he was fighting. We didn't get that from Randy. And then when we got uh, uh, Webb, Mark Webb doing uh, Spider-Man. Well, Garfield, Andrew Garfield. Told jokes. I, I can always tell in the videos when you're not paying attention sorry. to me. <laughs> it's kind of like it's kind of like that movie Up with the Dog Go Squirrel. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! That I'll happens tell you sometimes. When I'm, when I'm just talking to myself. Sorry, baby. I just got lost. Do you remember my train of thought at all? I don't know. What was I talking about? Can you do a repeat? I lost. I got off the, I got off the train. <laughs> a rewind. Sam Raimi's Spider-Man. No humor. Peter Parker's known for his snappy banter when he's fighting villains. True. He jokes constantly. That's that's his thing. Of any other hero out there, he is deliberately making jokes while he fights, more so than even Iron Man. He didn't do that in the Raimi trilogy. Mark Webb's Spider-Man, Andrew Garfield, he told jokes. And he told jokes, but he wasn't that funny. Right. This Spider-Man is funny. But I, I do agree. I think this Spider-Man was funny. He did a lot of humor and stuff in his acts. And thing. Every time he caught somebody. I loved um, when the guys was robbing the bank. And he's like, oh, I never thought I would meet the Avengers. I thought that was really cute. Yeah. And the jokes that he kind of gave throughout there were a few the whole more, thing. There were a few more jokes than what were in the trailer. He didn't do the, uh, in the, in the fine tradition of stuff that happens in the trailer that doesn't happen in the movie. He didn't do the joke about, you're not the real Avengers. Hulk gives it away. Joke's not in there. Aww. He does a completely different, it's a completely different scene. Ooh, that was a nice oh, that's my girl! What up, girl? I'm oh, sorry, I work with her. Yes, the person in the accident? I work with the police here, actually. Yeah, that's oh, oh, oh. Yeah. For somebody who was in an accident. No, 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 that's my girl. I'm sorry. I'm yeah, his humor was really good, and that's what I noticed well, in the movie. See, if the, if they 
you're gonna complain, if I hear any complaints about this, I'm gonna pimp slap you on the internet. Cause you can't be mad if Peter was movie, Peter's movie was funny. He's supposed to be funny. His movies are supposed to be humorous. There's a complaint online that Marvel movies make too many jokes. You know what them people think you're gonna mess and they gonna forget what Sony did or what Sony did. You like this dude that just went around me real hyper fast to get into this tournament? Yeah, when that he just, actually was behind you and he could have just... Be, he'd be exactly I don't, what I don't know what that was. I, I think they get bored of driving and they have to do something exciting. It just made him feel... It made him feel yeah, it made, it made him, made him feel, feel powerful like him. and power him. It gave him a sense of power oh, that he yeah. does not actually have. Yeah. But yes, there's a, there's this contingent online who complains because the Marvel movies are too funny. You know, like just... Oh, look. Wow, he really got empowered in that. He pushed the gas. There's something wrong with you. You drive with your arm out like this. With your window open. Reminds me of there that. Is that something. Reminds me of that Tarantino film. You wouldn't even remember why that girl left, lost their leg. There's something wrong with you. You drive with your arm dangling outside the car like that. No, I ain't going anywhere. Just can't get this review without police cars and people zooming by. It's like we live in New York City in the MCU. So can I say this again? Yes, there is a big contingent of people that online who've been complaining that the Marvel movies are too funny. Even though there's another contingent online that says the DC movies are too unfunny. But supposedly Wonder Woman got it right, and I'm just like, Marvel movies should be funny. They should have humor worked into the drama, and that, no, it doesn't undermine the emotion because humor is an emotion you use to deal with drama. In that moment where Peter is looking through the window after he finds out that um, the vulture is his is is his uh, Liz's father, and they have that stark conversation that, that I will kill your family conversation. When Peter's looking through the window of the, uh, of the door to the homecoming dance, and he sees his friends, and his and his and his one friend gives him, I, and then, uh, he, he says, he says, with the he size the hat, does the peace sign, and Zendaya gives him the finger. Yes, that was dramatic tension broken up by something humorous, but it made sense because the people in the room had no idea that Peter had just experienced something earth shattering. So they should be, she should be consistent with her personality while he has his dramatic, and it worked. His friends were clueless as to what Peter was going through in that exact moment. It underscored it underscored what because people will do that. People will make jokes with you even though you have just heard or experienced something traumatic or devastating. Oh, and yeah. They don't, and, you, and you know you don't plan on telling them just yet because right. you need to process it first. So you will you will be going through that moment that Peter was going through in his head while your friends are giving you the finger from across the room or whatever or whatever it is they do. That that may that's perfectly normal thing to happen. There was a lot more happy in this movie than I thought there was going to be. You think there was? Yeah, it was, actually. You know what I... You know, what I'm, you know what I'm talking about the person and not the emotion, right? Right. You know who happy is? Yeah, happy is the, um... Huh. I, you're usually not good with names, and he's not a major character. He hasn't been in... I don't think he's been in the movie since Iron Man 2. Was he in Iron Man 3? Maybe he makes an impression on me because Happy is a very important thing to me as far as the movie. Okay. I just was, I was surprised. I'm sorry. I can be surprised, can I? There was a lot more happy in this movie than I than I was expecting. But I think they showed him because he's so connected to take to trying to keep up with this teenager that obviously he's not happy about. Because Tony's not really doing it. <laughs> Tony ain't doing nothing. All he does is happy like he's doing this now. Okay, I'll take care. That's one of the movies 
because I'm going to have to watch again because there's, there's a few details that I think I didn't pick up on. Like, I couldn't quite exactly place what Tony was doing in India. Was he just at a party? Those people were, like, surrounding him like they were watch, watching him. They watched him leave. What was he doing? I have no idea. Yeah, yeah. I'd probably get home and there'd be a whole nerdist news about everything that I missed. Oh, I'm sorry. You know what? I'm going to play Mr. Sunday Movies as soon as I get home. Because he got to see this movie last week. It opened in Australia a week early. Ah! Yeah. Yeah, I was, I'm sorry to re- I, I didn't even think about that. But he gets a lot of movies a week early. And that's why he gets to drop Easter eggs on YouTube before anybody else gets to. Two-thirds of the way through this movie, I was wondering if Michael Keaton was going to get anything to do. Why do you say that? Because he hadn't really, like, as far as acting goes, he hadn't said much. He'd been on screen a handful of times. We'd mostly seen him fighting Peter in, in costume, which wasn't really him. You know, that was special effects. So I was like, well, are we going to get to see some character development from the villain? Because whatever you might say from... Whatever criticism you might have of Marvel villains, there's a criticism that they aren't that they aren't very that they aren't great. They aren't iconic villains for the most part, which I, I basically disagree with. But he got to develop his character at the at, towards the end when he turns around and talks to Peter in the in the car after driving them to the dance. That was that defined his character right there. A little late in the film, but it was good. It was good. I liked it. He wasn't just dealing in Chitauri, in Chitauri tech from the from the incident. He was dealing in stolen tech from Stark Industries. Uh, it sounds like he may have stole some stuff from Shield, from uh, from Shield Shield Hydra when they had that incident uh, when they had, the Triskelion went down. Apparently, they're still cleaning up from that. Well, the thing is, but if the, with that plane crash, and how much did they lose? Well, they were there. They, they picked all the stuff up. Did you hear what was in that plane, though? I mean, they showed some stuff. Did, did you hear Happy reading off a list of stuff? Yeah, they what was show? something with, um, oh, God, oh, God, Thor's belt? Thor's magic belt, which you could not pronounce. I don't know how to pronounce it either. I got I to gotta look it up again. Cap's new shield. Three words. Cap's new shield. Tony made Cap a new shield. If I didn't have no idea. I hope Why did he make Tony a new shield if Tony is on the run and they're not speaking? That's going to turn Well, obviously it's going to turn up in Infinity War. Oh, you know what? I know why he made him a new shield. Because Black Panther damaged his old one. Sure did. That's right. Because he took his vibranium claws and dragged them down the front. Mm-hmm. Vibranium against vibranium. You know, that, could, uh, mm-hmm. that could damage that thing. And the other thing was the Hulkbuster armor was in there. Oh yeah. They punked us, man. She they were they didn't lie. She was not Mary Jane. But she was. Oh yeah, and the racists are gonna be really pissed that in uh, in this black man. I don't have been, a pro- I don't have a problem. They have been whining and complaining I don't about have a problem with that. how it completely changes her character. I don't have a problem with that. How she can't? Uh, she's she's Irish Catholic. She's a redhead. You can't change Mary Jane to anything else because that completely changes her identity. And I'm just like, man, what Mary Jane do that I, that I ever said? Man, that is just so white of Mary Jane. It's just like a, that's just something that only white people do. Do you even know Mary Jane's backstory? Does anybody know Mary Jane's backstory? I don't know Mary Jane's backstory. And I used to read Amazing Spider-Man. I have no idea. Because she's... 
kind of didn't really have a lot to do except sit in in the apartment worrying about if Peter's going to die or not. Really? That's pretty much all she did in the early days. I'm sure they gave her a, they gave her more to do like '90s. But on. this character, but, but this character is she's very smart. She's very outgoing. She's very, you know, don't do what the norm does. I can't see her just sitting and worrying. You see, Mary Jane uh, becomes a supermodel in the comic books when she when she gets when she gets old when she gets older. So Zendaya puts on some makeup. All of a sudden, she's a supermodel. But you know what? They won't do that. They might make her prettier as, as they go along. It's not that she wasn't pretty, but they, they might make her look more grown up, I should say, as the show goes along. But I don't think they'll go the Because she's, she's, too, she's got too many other talents than to just be the pretty girl that likes, that likes Peter. She's going to do more than that. She'll be more like, uh, more like Gwen was to be in, uh, in like the web, the web duology. Duology? WG? Whatever the two movies were about to play. The ama- Amazing Spider-Man. The movie like Gwen Stacy. She's she, she like Gwen Stacy. She's like, you know, she's Peter's intellectual equal. I thought it was interesting that he left his old um, costume in the school. Under the lockers. <laughs> I was like, okay. Because <laughs> he's the only one who's ever going to be able to look under there. Unless the Hulk or Captain America come in. Nobody's lifting that up. He is right there. Captain America had wanted to lay him out. Oh, yes. Yeah. Yeah. In a heartbeat. I love how they. I, I do like that he. But of all the other Supermans, he's definitely more of the kitty. I mean, I'm sorry. Out of all the Spider-Mans, he's definitely the kitty uh, type teenager, full of energy type thing, you yeah. know? Only teenagers kind of go around texting like a whole paragraph but with 45 or 50 texts. So... Nobody's <laughs> <laughs> never replied to him. <laughs> Honestly, a lot of that is their own fault. They should have given him a mission. They should have given him something to do. He wasn't gonna... He wasn't just going to say he, he wasn't sitting around waiting before they showed up. And then they give him a so-called internship and they never call him or anything. Yeah, because he was, he was, he was already doing tru- stuff. Of course he was going to get into trouble. And then you give him a high-tech suit to use and presume that he will never. That's like giving a geek a high-tech suit and expecting him not to do anything with it. Really? He, he, rooted, he rooted his, he jailbroke his suit. He rooted his suit. There's no way he wasn't going to uh, try to push that suit. I think, just, just Tony approached it the wrong way. But, but I don't know what he expected. Tony Do you think Tony is. just didn't think he was smart as he was? Hey, what about the sudden appearance of Pepper Potts? Uh, yeah, where has she been for a minute? We had heard that she wasn't, that she wasn't going to be in there anymore. Maybe that they we had gave, seen maybe they that gave. they had broken up because that was the last we were going to see of Gwyneth Paltrow. Yeah. That she wasn't going to be, uh, that, she, that there's something that happened that they weren't interested in. They just dropped her in there like, okay. Did you see that kiss? They were about to both bust up laughing during that kiss. Like for real laughing. You think so? Did you see that kiss? They were both trying not to laugh during that kiss. I mean, they worked it into the, the story, but... Uh-uh, I don't know what you say, because I really... Um, when this all started, even when um, Iron Man started, Pepper Potts is one of my favorite characters. I love her personality. We were all kind of hoping we would maybe see Rescue. The cap closing credits scene, man. Are we sure that wasn't Chris Evans asking how many more of these do I got to do? <laughs> and not Cap. <laughs> oh man, I don't know. <laughs> like, really? This is my Spider-Man cameo. Tony's in, Tony gets to be Tony gets to fly around, rescue us, rescue a spaceship, rescue the spaceship, rescue an oil tanker, save lives. I give PSAs on how to on how to deal with your body changing. And trust me, I know what that means. Oh, and they did it. They mentioned it. Just what we said before that. Before they. Uh, 
before uh, we went into the movie theater. Remember I said, how will they deal with the fact that Cap's on the run from the law? He says, he's right. I mean, I think he's technically a law criminal. Yeah, he did. He did. He's right in the middle of the beginning of the movie. Yeah. I was like, oh, oh. I'm so glad they addressed that. Because I was just like, surely there's got to be... Yeah, that was funny. I didn't know he had did all the videos for all that happened, but yeah. The worst, the worst problem. Good, 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 Thor's gonna be needing that back, soon. You're not gonna get, you're not gonna get to use. This time. Thor don't, Thor don't need that. Thor can, Thor can take, Thor can take a hit from, from Hulk. They fought before. So overall, would you say that you like this Spider-Man movie better than any of the others, or do you have other Spider-Man movies that you like better? Mm, I would just say that I, I like this one actually. I do, I like it. And would you say this is your favorite though? That's what I'm saying. Mm. Do you have any that you like better? For a lot of people, that they like Spider-Man mm. 2 a lot. I'ma say, I'ma say, um. I'ma say, I'ma say, I'ma say, I'ma say. Yeah, I'ma say this is probably my favorite one. Yeah, I'ma say that too. And I did like Spider-Man 2, but man, I just, the idea, Peter without his humor, is way worse than Peter without his spider sense, mm. which is what he did not. He did not have a spider sense in this movie, but it doesn't matter because he already told Tony that he had senses that were turned up to 11, and it was sometimes difficult to take in. And I was like, senses turned up to 11, spider sense. Mm -hmm. That's why he can anticipate things so quickly because he's so attuned to his environment. That makes total sense. It makes total sense. Yeah. It makes more sense than him getting precognition from a spider bite. Spiders don't have that. That was a bit of a tangent, but this is my favorite Spider-Man movie, and I, of course I knew, I knew it would be. I was sold a long time ago. Once I saw Captain America, Civil War, I was like, yeah. I, I, I already know how this is going to work. At this point, Marvel's going to have to do something just stupid. put too much thought into these movies. Spider-Man, the Spider-Men, the characters who played them so far, Tom Holland's got my, got my vote as the best one so far. Y you're gonna see, he's gonna cut, he's gonna trim back the Star Tech. He's gonna cut back on that and start wanting to develop stuff on his own. Oh yeah, I believe it with him being such a smart kid and everything. Yeah. I mean, he developed the web shooters on his own. He's got the intellect. Because even though he's still a kid and teenager, I mean, you can't keep out the aspect that he is a very smart kid. I mean, he's literally a geek nerd. So. I think what having Stark be his mentor does open the door to is it gives a valid reason for Peter to develop better tech. Because a kid just living with his aunt in Queens is not going to have the resources to make you know, a really nice suit, not realistically, uh, and, and be able to make some of the iconic things that Peter has, like the spider tracer, or the, uh, the uh, spider grenades, the web balls, all that stuff that Peter is known for. But it will, okay, so Tony came up with some of that, we'll see Peter come up with other ideas, new ideas. He just needed somebody to, uh, to give him access to the finances to be able to make some of this stuff. Wasn't that great when he mixed the uh, web fluid at school? When he made web fluid at school, he was oh, working on it. Yeah. And the thing, I was like, oh my gosh, that's <laughs> that's great. That is stuff. That is totally something Peter Parker would do. So uh, let me explain this. I and maybe I'm, I guess he's always had web fluid. I don't know why I keep on thinking that when he was changed and that automatically was just part of him mutating into a spider, but I guess I was wrong on that because he got more of the strategy. That's what the Raimi movies did. Oh, okay. The, tri the first trilogy. Okay. It yeah. was, that was Raimi's idea to make the web shooters go uh, become part of his uh, internal physiology, part, yeah. of the, part of the transformation from the spider bite. Yeah. But Webb, I know that's an ironic name, Mark Webb. When Mark Webb came on for his Amazing Spider-Man movies, he said he wanted to go back to the web shooters because the web shooters um, demonstrated Peter's intellect. Correct. Because Peter is an extremely intelligent kid.
character just developed the web shooters on his own. And I mean, he's an adult. He was an adult in the comic books. Uh, uh, he's an adult in the comic books now. And I know, I don't know if he still does, but up until recently, he was uh, the head of a tech industry that he started, like Star Tech. But he started one of his own. So, yeah, Peter was a technological genius. And that, that demonstrated it. Well, I'm glad they kept that aspect for the for the films. Yeah. Comic book actually did make him go uh, have his webs go internal at one point, and then they got they, they got rid of him again. I can see both points, but I think uh, I think I, I think sticking with the web shooters is the best is, is the best of the two. Mm, okay. So I don't know how much battery we got left. So I want to say thanks to everyone for watching. Please be sure to share this video with uh, people that you like and people that you don't like. <laughs> share it with everybody. <laughs> Friends, enemies, whoever is on the other end of that restraining order. In -a -a <laughs> we both hungry. We have neither one of us have eaten in a while. Uh, m and sound delicious right about now. Mm. Thanks for watching. We have a bag full of uh, pogies, a half a tank of gas, it's dark, and she's wearing sunglasses. Oh gosh, yeah. They're staying, it's, it's part of the, it's part of the, okay, I'm hungry. <laughs>